What's going on everybody? It's your boy Huncho. Today we're just gonna go ahead and get straight into the video. Um, today I gotta go and drop off the license plate to the Nissan the car that I bought to flip. I need to drop that off. I need to send that off because the person that I bought the car from was kind enough to let me use it to get the car home. So I just got a little bull crap plate that I had around the house that I'm just gonna put on the back of it. So that way it's just, you know, somebody wanna come and look at it, wanna test drive it. I got at least something on the back. It's just an old 30 day tag plate that I used to have. Um, not major, but neighborhood I live in, I gotta have a plate on the car that will tow it, which is dumb. Um, that's why I'm trying to leave this neighborhood. Um, then we're gonna go by Nando's shop as well. Go by Nando's, see if he done with those step plates. Um, he told me it was gonna be done yesterday, which was Monday. So, depending on whenever I drop this video, y'all will get what I'm saying. Um, let's go back and look at the videos. But uh, let me take this plate off right quick of this car. Then we're gonna go drop this plate off um, sometime today. Um, we may go to Nando's shop first before I end up dropping it off. Um, that's it, man. Today is just gonna be, you know, a pretty chill day. Um, as y'all seen in the last video, you know, we dropped off the uh, truck body for my son. Um, headlights, tail lights, uh, surprise being done to it. So that should be done sometime this week as well. So we just gonna vibe out today, man. See what we can get get done today and make the day a productive day. So let me take this plate off real quick. All right, I got that plate. Finally got that plate, you know, tucking off. So, we're gonna go get Corey real quick as well. We're gonna go get Corey from his crib. But I wanna I wanna give y'all an update real quick on the whole house situation real quick. So right now where we live, we own, you know, we bought where we live at. So the new neighborhood we're thinking about moving to. The downside to that is we tried to buy in that neighborhood, but everything in that neighborhood is for lease. They not um, trying to sell right now. It's something new that they trying out, I guess. They said, uh, from what they were telling us, it's something new that they trying out. They got a 10 year lease where they, you know, trying to rent those properties out for the next 10 years. Do I think it's gonna be successful? I highly doubt it because you got a lot of people like myself that's in the market to buy. So, I'm not 100% for sure if we're gonna, you know, actually move to that neighborhood. Um, it's up in the air right now. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, disclose how much, you know, their rent is and stuff like that, but just know it's, I'm gonna give you a ballpark range. It's, it's around two to three thousand dollars a month. So, two to three thousand dollars a month. I mean, my mortgage right now is only $800, $834. So, my mortgage might be a little bit less than that. I don't know, I, it come out automatically. Um, but I don't know if we are gonna actually go over there to that neighborhood. So it's up in the air right now. Um, I'm, I'm setting up an appointment for us later on this week as well to go in, you know, talk with some people about some land um, maybe our best bet is to just you know get some land and you know get a house built or maybe even get a double wide um because i'm not a let's get one thing understood i'm not against you know a single wide a double wide a modular home a, a mansion none of that at the end of the day i do what i want to do with my own money so like right now you know i live in a single wide not because I was forced to, but this is something that I wanted to do, you know? Um, I'm comfortable. Uh, I, I made it, you know, mine, you get what I'm saying? So, I'm supposed to be going to go talk to uh, some developers that's out of my area about, you know, some land and maybe getting a modular home, a, a double wide or something like that. I'm, I'm real big on land, man. I, I need a lot of land. We got a lot of stuff. I mean, we got a lot of vehicles. Um, I know I'm always in, you know, my work my work vehicle or a big Bertha, but trust me, we have way more vehicles than this. The reason I like driving my work vehicle 
is because I'm I'm used to this. It's it's great on gas. It's super great on gas, man. Uh, and gas prices right now are getting ridiculous, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, I, I like to be in my my work van because at the end of the day, I'm I'm out here hustling and grinding, you know. Not only getting you guys content, but I do other things. You know, I have a business to run. I have a few businesses that I run. So I like to just be able to jump in and jump out real quick. You know, it doesn't matter if I get dirty or not. I, I'd rather just be in something that I'm, I'm comfortable in. And it's great on gas because sometimes I have to drive pretty far to the areas that I'm always going to and stuff like that. Um, so the whole house situation is, is up in the air right now, man. Um, I, I feel like the best route for us to do is to actually just get the land and maybe get a double wide, uh, you know, get a house built. Um, I feel like that's the best route. So I just actually need to sit down and talk to somebody and see exactly how much it is. Um, land is actually going for. I talked with my mom about it, which she swept it down. She my financial advisor. She told me that, you know thing the market is starting to come down a little bit so we're just gonna weigh all our options man when it comes to you know us spending our money making sure that we put our money into the right places and places that's gonna benefit us in the long run um that's the main thing so Corey's getting in the car now um finally it took him about three hours i called him early this morning at seven o'clock but um that's that's the move for right now when it comes to the move, man. Um, so, it's, it's just up in the air. Y'all heard me talk about it a couple times already on the channel. So, we're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. But let me get down the road. Um, next time I turn this camera back on, we'll either be at Nando Shop or we'll be at the DMV dropping off this license plate. So, I'll see y'all in a second. All right, guys, I'm finally here at the DMV. I sent Corey in to turn the plate in real quick, man. So that way, the, the lady plate will be turned in. That was nice of her for letting me use the plate to get the car home. Um, so basically now with that car, I'm just waiting on the title to come back. So that way I can start posting it up for sale and everything. Normally, when I buy a car, I, the title already be notarized. But this time... I didn't get the title notarized. Uh, me and the lady went to the bank. I signed it. Um, so I had to send that title off. But normally I just go ahead and had a seller go ahead and uh, that the person that I'm buying it from, I just normally go ahead and make sure that the title is, you know, a clean title, make sure that it's already notarized. So that way when I sell it, the new buyer, all they gotta do is just, you know, put their signature and everything where it needs to be at. So just waiting on Corey to come up out of here. Um, I'm not going to end up going to Nando uh, shop today. Uh, we're going to go look at another house and also some, you know, and talk with them about, you know, some land and stuff like that. Like I say, we're going to go talk to a developer out here in my area. So, see what's going to happen with that, man. But I will be, you know, bringing you guys along with us for that right there. Um, Sign scientist, he called me today as well and told me that he already done with the, the headlights, tail lights, and the surprise that we was doing to my son's truck. So the truck is ready. So I'll probably go tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then I'll end up going uh, Friday to actually pick it up and you know, revealing it to you guys as well. But I see y'all as soon as we get up here uh, with the developers that we planning on, you know maybe doing business with so i'll see y'all here in a second all right guys we finally at the first property they already staged them up so this is the master bedroom right here that's it the master the bathroom nice They already staged the home. My son right there. That would there. be your dining room, but they set it up as a table. You said this will be your what? Dining room. Where you would put your table. I like this little wall they got. Yeah. 
What do you think about it, Corey? Oh, yeah. Nice. But this is just the first one we're looking at. It's bedroom number two. It's two. It's four bedrooms all together. Yeah. And I'm sorry if I'm going kind of fast, guys. But it's, it's kind of hot a little bit in here. Because we just turned the power on in. Bedroom number three. Bedroom number four. You've seen one bedroom, you've seen them all. If I was by myself, I would have slowed down the video a little bit, but been the fact that we got my son, I don't want to be in here too long. But it's two bathrooms. Hello. Hello. This one, all right. Yeah, boy. Huh? I like it. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera back on when we get to the second house. Oh, my God. You see the price? Wait, how much you think for it? I, I need everybody to comment down below how much y'all think this is. Oh, I ain't got it in the camera though. I need everybody in the comment section to comment how much they think this house is. And I'm going to go ahead and reveal it to you guys. Alright guys, we're at the second house now. And y'all got to bear with my video on this one because... As you see, I'm holding my son. But you got your kitchen area. My wife liked the decorations in here. We're going to say the master for last on this one. But you got your living room right there. It's another four bedroom house. You got your laundry room. It's bedroom number one. Okay, man. You got your little closet area right there, too. What's up, family? Here's the bathroom. What's up? I'm back again. I'm back again. What's up? Look at him looking at me. What's up, fat man? But I like the his and her sink for the kids. With the little bar stool. This is the second bedroom and the third. All the bedrooms basically look the same, guys. The closets are decent sizes as well. Come on. Let's walk through here fast. Come on, fat man. You already went in the master? Uh-uh. All right, guys. I like that barn door. Okay. All right, guys, master. And while I'm in this one, you guys go ahead and comment how much you think it is. I'm gonna show the bathroom last. Corey, open up this closet for me right here, please, sir. Tell me the the shower. Literally, think he's swimming. Yeah. It's a closet. Oh my God! Welcome to my gym. Oh, y'all make sure y'all comment down below how much y'all think this one is. All right, it's time to show the bathroom. Oh my God. This gave like the beach feel. The whole house. Yeah, the whole house. His or her sinks.
And we out here at Clayton Homes out here in my area. But the bathroom is nice. It's nice. Mm. All right, guys. <laughs> right. Y'all comment down below how much y'all think this property is. We're going to show you the price. Open that door, baby, right there. Slide it open. Guess how much? Which ain't bad. Mm. All right, let's slide this barn door open. This is so nice. Right, I like this Got a pantry, a pantry area. Oh, oh the pantry like deep too. Yeah, everything in here come with they yeah. sell them like that if you want. Yeah, they do sell the furniture with them if you want to buy the furniture. I like this. I like this idea right here. It's, it can feel big and open in here. All right, guys, we're about to go to the third house. We're going to look at five houses, I believe, right here that they have. We have we have that decoration over there already too. Yeah, that came from Family Dollar, I think. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. We had it at our lake house. <laughs> but whoever staged them, they staged them up nice. Yeah, they do. I like this. But we're about to go to the third house. We're already walking to the third one now. I think this is the best. The baby, I'm about. But we're walking to the. Third one, yeah. On, I ain't got my tripod, so. But this is big. So, I show you guys. Oh wow! It's a whole food table. That's a food bar table. Oh my god! Look at this, guys. Y'all comment down below how much y'all think this one is. But your living room, Mary. I'm gonna show y'all this area real quick. Got your kitchen table. This nice. You guys comment down below. How much y'all think these properties cost? Even though I might have just had it in the, so the camera, I'm gonna just go ahead and show it. How much this one costs? Four bedrooms, three baths, 2,001 square feet. The walls, I don't really care for that, but I'm gonna say the master for last. Oh, shit. I didn't know this area was over here. This one real nice. All I can say, man, is I work very hard for everything that we got. So it's time for us to move, man. I like I told you guys before, I thought about moving into the other neighborhood, but as I told y'all before, everything is in that neighborhood is for lease. And I ain't really in the market to lease anything. I'm in the market to buy. So if I can buy it, I'd rather just buy it. And I don't need no great big house. You get what I'm saying? I'm simple. You gotta understand everything I got, I got out the mud, man. I'm cool with being in a single wide or double wide or modular home. At the end of the day, I do what I wanna do with my money. Um, his or her sinks. Which this bathroom would be shared with this room here and this room over here. So also guys, comment down below and let me know which one of these houses is you guys favorite. What is back through here? 
bathroom. Yeah. Bedroom here. I'm not gonna walk in every room. I'm gonna just show the entry way through. Because like I say, we are trying to move kind of fast because we do got the baby with us and it is kind of hot a little bit. But we do got water and everything. They did give us water and stuff to walk around with, which I have me and my wife still be sharing right now. But y'all see, got Corey with me. Um, this is the master bedroom right here. I feel like they could have did a little bit better with the master bathroom. Shower's huge, but I feel like water's gonna get all over the place. No, there's no glass or nothing really. And then you got your closet right here in the bathroom with you. There's no door or nothing to block that off. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this one is a, it's nice, the entry. But I feel like this one is, you know, pretty downgrade. Only thing that I really like in here is the, look, he hungry. He trying to eat fake cake. The entry way here is nice when you first walk through the front door. Oh, yeah. You might want this book right here, sir. So, we're about to walk to the, what, fourth property now. So, I'll show you guys that property here in a second. All right, guys, we're at the fourth house. Make sure y'all guys comment it down. Which one is your favorite house? Right now, we're at the fourth house right now. Also, comment how much you think each one of them costs, even though I'm showing you guys the prices. But just pause the video whenever I say how much do you think they cost and comment them down below. Say the master bedroom for last. But you got your living room area, kitchen table area, front door, back that way. Another four bedroom house. Laundry room. Bedroom one. Got bedroom two. I'll show y'all one of the closets. The closets, it's pretty average. Basically, the same size closets we got now. First bathroom, his and her sinks. You got your pooper, shower area. Got a little hallway closet. I kind of know which one was my favorite. I tell you off camera. Baby, tell us on camera what? which house was your favorite. The other one, the second one. Okay, okay. All right. We in the master bedroom right now. I'm gonna show y'all the bathroom real quick. Like I said, guys, I do apologize if this is not the best of quality. For one, I'm using my cell phone. For two, we have our son with us, so I'm trying to move kind of fast. But you got his or her sinks. This is the master bathroom. Again, this is house number four. Let's see how big the master closet is. Master closet, it's not, it's not all of that. All right, guys. All right, we're about to go to the fifth and final house. Y'all make sure y'all comment. Oh, let me show y'all how much this one costs. I didn't show you guys that, I don't believe. Oh, this is three bedrooms, two baths for 107. So, correction. This is a three bedroom house. 
I thought this was the fourth bedroom. All right, guys, we're going to the fifth and final house. Baby, that was a uh, that was a three bedroom. This one? Yeah. Four. On the on the. All paper. right, guys. We had the fifth and final house. This is what the outside of it looked like. We out here at Clayton Homes. So, I'm about to show you guys what the inside looked like. Oh yeah. This is small. Alright, we in the inside. Yeah. But this is the fifth and final house, guys. Like I was just saying, you got your kitchen area. Oh my god, this is pretty. Got your living room area. Down the table. All these flat screens. I was like, hmm. This is the living room set we had, right? But we had it in the sectional. Yeah, that's from Big Lots. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. But I don't like the fact that there's a door, like, right there, though. This is supposed to be a full bedroom. Don't put it in your couch. Bedroom number one. Got a bathroom here. Bathroom, I mean. Bedroom right here. Bedroom number two. I'm just trying to move pretty quick, guys. Bedroom number three. This is a pretty big size bedroom, too. The video really ain't going to do it no justice. Got your closet area. Laundry room. Wash and dry hookups. I don't like the fact that they got that back door right there though. But let's walk and check out the master. <laughs> master bedroom. Baby, bring him in. Oh, you got by you got him by the fan, okay. That's what I'm trying to stay for him. It's master. Let me show y'all the master. The master, you seen the master closet in here? No, I didn't go that way. I stepped right here. Oh, come on. It's a fan right here. Come here. Yeah. You can sit right there on that bed up under that thing until I'm, oh, wow. I'm done. Right you going to sit up under that. that hell. We don't want him too hot. Should our bed wouldn't fit in here? Master. You think our bed wouldn't fit in here? Yeah. And it's going to take up everything. Yeah. Master bathroom, his and her sinks. Got a tub. Got your pooper. Got your candles everywhere. You got a shower right behind the door. Show y'all the price. Make sure y'all comment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all how big this closet is. This closet is really huge. I'm literally on the other side, so it's pretty big in here. It's big in that master closet. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the price. $125,282. Four bedrooms, two baths, $1,790. Square feet. So, make sure you guys are commenting. 
All right, guys. I'm finally at home. Uh, I think saying more light than required, but it is what it is. I'm at home. Um, after we looked at all the houses, we went out to eat. Of course, we're going to start eating at home. But um, that's basically it for this video, man. Y'all make sure y'all comment down below. Let me know which one was y'all favorite house, you know, one through five. Um, y'all seen all the prices of each one of them. So we taking this move very serious, man. We're getting more and more serious with it. But y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you guys always know when I'm posting new videos. Um, the next video, of course, it's going to be me going to go pick up my son's truck uh, body. It's finally done as far as headlights and taillights and the big surprise that I got to reveal to you guys. So just stay tuned for that, man. Till the next video, I'll catch you.